Hi friends, I am Nidhin Paul. Today we are discussing about the functional group phenol. And here, this is a simplest representation of phenol in which a benzene is directly attached to a hydroxy group. This is another example for phenol in which instead of benzene, a naphthalene ring is attached to hydroxy group. Part of maybe an aromatic system is attached to hydroxy group. Then this is called alpha naphthol and this hydroxy is lifted to the second position then it is called beta naphthol and these are examples for simple phenolic compounds. Then what are the uses of phenols? Uses of phenols. Almost 70% of phenol that is produced are uh, used for the preparation of uh, considerable material especially polymer compounds. We know that uh, phenol, formaldehyde resins are very well known, especially bakelite is an example for such a compound. Then almost 70% is used for that, above 70% is used for that purpose. Then another one is preparation of dyes, especially to aso dyes, that means N double bond N dyes, aso dyes, aniline dyes. Actually, first prepared by Perkin. Artificial synthesis of aniline dyes were dated by Perkin in 1857, and and that includes preparation of aso n, so many aso dyes, and aso dyes are usually prepared by desertization of aniline, aniline, which is desertized to form disodium salts. And these disodium salts are coupled with phenolic compound to prepare aso, different aso dyes. And well known example is methyl orange. Methyl orange is a well known example for such a dye. So methyl orange is an aso dye. Then another one is the preparation of aspirin. Especially I gave one, uh, just one example from the medicinal world. Aspirin is prepared simply starting from phenol. Phenol is first treated with carbon dioxide and the conditions are not mentioned now and for the preparation of salicylic acid and this is called called process. It is a well known process. It is having high M environmental impact. Such a process is that one called process and for the preparation of uh, as, uh, salicylic acid then it is treated with acetic anhydride for the preparation uh, for the preparation of aspirin acetyl it will be acetylated acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin it is a common drug for the uh, use of use of used as analgesic and antibiotic purpose. Now it is used for some uh, blood clotting uh, defects also uh, given to old people or aged people. Then aspirin, so prepared, it is basically prepared from phenol. Then another one is the use of phenolic lotions. Usually 0.1% of phenolic lotion can be used uh, in the place of Dettol. We can use that one. And if the percentage is increased to 1 to 2 percentage, that can be used for room cleaning purpose and toilet cleaning such purposes. So phenolic lotions are commonly used for cleaning purpose. Then another use is for the extraction of DNA, especially nucleic acids are separated from proteins by extraction of uh, by a phenol chlorophyll mixer extraction by using phenol chlorophyll mixer then how we can prepare phenol phenol is extracted from coltar that is one method for the preparation of phenol is distilled from coltar fractions and another method is from the from uh, chlorobenzene this is a well-known process, chlorobenzene, but the conditions are very harsh. If you are treating with base at 
300 atmosphere pressure and 300 degrees centigrade then we will get sodium phenoxide and on further treatment with acid it will regenerate the phenol okay so chlorobenzene is treated with the sodium hydroxide or a very concentrated base at 300 atmosphere and 300 degrees centigrade very harsh conditions to get sodium phenoxide and it is acidified to get phenol and this process is called a Dow's process Dow's process and another method is from cumin this one cumin cumin is actually two phenyl propane and two phenyl propane on air oxidation you will get bond will be shifted to this position and this bond will be shifted to this position so you will get oh, that means air oxidation you will get cumin hydroperoxide that can be represented like this CH3 here is actually cumin hydroperoxide on acidification of this one that means if you are treating with H plus it will be protonated to H2 plus that means a water molecule will be eliminated from that one and at that time phenolic group will be shifted to this position so the result will be carbocation formation then uh, it will be attacked by one water molecule H, H. so now they will be shifted to this position that means positive charge on oxygen as at the sudden it will be compensated by the proton bonded pair from the proton so proton is eliminated as H plus. Okay. Then the next step so the product is actually bond will break. Here the bond will break. So it will be phenoxyl ion plus byproduct is also a valuable one this is actually acetone a valuable product for more synthetic purpose acetone is used to in many synthetic purposes so phenoxyl ion plus acetone if you are acidifying this one you will get phenol so this is a preparation method starting from cumin cumin is also prepared, is prepared by friedel crafts method from benzene so cumin air oxidation followed by acidification no need of the, all these mechanisms simply we can represent as air oxidation followed by acidification we will get phenol it's no need of all these mechanisms so cumin on air oxidation followed by acidification we will get phenol so two methods we are having now one is dose process and another one is cumin method this is a highly valuable synthetic method now we can consider some uh, properties of phenol this is the structure of Phenol with the lone pair 
and if another drawn pair also there and uh, the resonating forms of phenol can be drawn there what are the resonating forms it will be shifted here so resonating forms are possible there so phenol is stable compound have a negative charge here double bond single non pair hydrogen and a positive charge here and we can have another resonating form in which this one will be shifted here
more predominance in that that resultant structure. So we can compare these two structures in which if you are comparing the phenol, this is phenol itself. If you are comparing the resonating structures, we can see that here in this benzene in attached oxygen, you are having one positive charge. We know that the most electronegative atom in all these combinations is oxygen. We can have another one is hydrogen and the other one is carbon. In comparing all this, yeah, we know that oxygen is having highest electronegativity. So, in this resonating structures, we are keeping a positive charge on hydrogen, sorry, on oxygen. That means, these structures will be unstable because this itself is a reason for that unstability of the compound. Then another factor is we are separating two different charges, two opposite charges always having the tendency to combine together and become a chargeless situation, a positive and a negative electron rich and electron deficiency in a molecule separating at a different places is entirely a tedious practice for the molecule that means it will make the molecule highly energy rich situation I mean energized situation that is means more unstable situation so usually the molecules will come to its more stable state with the more with the less energy situation they all these resonating effects even the reactions are also to reduce energy of the system but here, this resonating structure is showing that one form, the oxygen having a positive center, that means highly electronegative atom is keeping an electron deficiency in these structures. Another one is, we are keeping two different charges separated in a single molecule. That also is very difficult situation. Then, a third factor is the loss of aromaticity in these intermediate structures. That also happening here also but these two things we should consider seriously then another we are considering the phenoxide ion resonating structure in phenoxide ion resonating structure we can see that only one charge is distributed in the entire molecule that means if there is an electron rich situation is there that means even Oxygen, the highest electronegative atom among this group is keeping an electron rich situation here. Reverse of the situation here. So, this is somewhat agreeable than this one. Then, here two different charges are separated, opposite charges are separated in a molecule. But here, such a difficulty is not there. Only a single electron rich situation is there. That electron rich situation is distributed in the entire molecule. Now it is not a point charge or point disturbance. It is the disturbance of the entire molecule. That means to the entire area the charge density is distributed or charge is distributed. So charge density will be reduced. So we can see that Compared to this resonating forms and structure, the phenoxide ion is more stable. Then, the stability of phenoxide ion than phenol means phenol is always having the tendency to be appear as phenoxide. That means it is having the tendency to appear as phenoxide plus H plus. Otherwise, we can see, say that H plus is easily available from phenol, phenol structures. Otherwise, we can say another term, it is acidic. Phenol is acidic. So, if we want to explain the acidity of phenol, we should write the resonating structures of phenol and phenoxide ion. And from the stability comparisons, we can say that phenol is phenoxide is stable. That means phenoxide formation means removal of H plus from phenol. Another factor also to be considered because in this resonating structure, we can see that here O plus 
oxygen is having positive charge and how we can remove the oxygen positive charge in this structure simply shifting simply shifting the bond pair between oxygen and hydrogen towards oxygen that means h plus removal of h plus from this situation will compensate the positive charge so it will be the charge will be neutralized by this electron gain so this phenol resonating structure having positive charge on oxygen that also indicates that h plus can be eliminated from the position so all these explanations indicating that phenol is acidic then another factor we should consider is how we can increase already we found that phenol is acidic then how we can increase acidic nature of phenol or how we can decrease the acidic nature of phenol that we can explain from these resonating structures of phenoxide ion phenoxide ion so phenol that NO2 it is an electron withdrawing group cyanon electron withdrawing group but methoxy is an electron donating group or methane electron donating group so if you are attaching electron withdrawing groups or electron donating groups to phenol the acidic nature of phenol can be tuned how it is happening or to which position we should attach these groups and here we found that this electron or this resonating forms showing that the electron density is or the ortho and para positions of phenol is comparatively electron rich otherwise we can draw like that we can have phenol phenol here and in the phenol structure the ortho position ortho positions and para positions are electron rich compared to the meta positions compared to the meta and ipso positions these ortho and para positions the para positions are electron rich so if any factor if we are attaching a group here if we are attaching an suppose here you can have in this structure you are having a negative charge that is presented like this this actually the sending forms negative charge there and if you are attaching a if you are attaching an electron withdrawing group nitro group at this para position what will happen in all these resonating from this resonating structure this electron negative this negative charge will be shifted towards nitro group so you will get additional resonating possibilities by withdrawing this electron richness from this benzene ring so normal condition of benzene ring will be regained by providing the withdrawing the electron to the nitro group where we should attach that one either to para position or to ortho position if you are attaching attaching to meta position you won't get the benefit if you want to get the benefit you should attach that to ortho and para position so if you are attaching electron withdrawing groups electron withdrawing groups to ortho and para positions the electron 
richness of that position will be considerably reduced or that position will come to a normal stage by withdrawing the electron density by these groups. So, if you are attaching electron withdrawal group, what will happen? This negative charge is highly, highly stabilized by this electron withdrawal groups. That means it is easy to form a negative charge on oxygen or it is easy to easy to break this oxygen hydrogen bond and shifting this to the towards oxygen or easy to shift this to oxygen if we are attaching a electron withdrawing group at ortho or ortho or para positions so this means easy to get H plus from this compound if more easy to get H plus means more acidic more and more acidic it will become more acidic so electron withdrawing group will increase acidity of phenol then now we can consider introduction of electron donating groups Suppose the same structure we can consider. We are already one negative charge in, in resonating structure. If we are introducing OCH3 methoxy group here, what will happen? The CH3 group is having hyperconjugative interactions. So altogether it will push the electron density towards this benzene ring that will affect here also even though the inductive effect is in the reverse direction you will have methyl group will supply electron density by this hyperconjugative effect so net effect what will happen already we are having negative here so what will happen if you are introducing methyl, methoxy or methyl group this position will become more and more erect electron rich. Already having electron density, which is a, a electron rich there, if you are adding more and more electron to that position, then it will become unfavorable situation because more energized the situation. If you are if such a position, if electron richness there, if you are removing that electron richness, it will become stable. If you are donating more and more electrons to that position means it becomes increasingly unstable. So, if you are providing here also negative charge is here already negative charge in our resonating form negative charge here and if you are attaching O, CH3, such groups are electron donating to this position, what will happen? This negative charge will become more and more unstable. Otherwise, one more factor we can say, here are lone pair there, here also lone pair there. What will happen? This lone pair, it is already middle group is pushing electrons to that side and if this lone pair this near to this negative charge, lone pair means that is also negative charge. So these two charges, if you are coming together, it will ripple. That will destabilize the situation. There are also a negative charge here. That means lone pair means you can consider as negative charge. It is not taken by this middle group. It is actually pushing the electron density towards this one here. Electron pushing tendency there. So already it is electron rich. Then if you are attaching or negative at this nearest position, it will more and more difficult situation there. So, how we can eliminate the negative charge? From where it came, this negative charge? It came only because of the shifting of this oxygen-hydrogen bond towards oxygen. Then, then thereby resonating forms, the negative charge is created here. So, if it is not shifted to this position, then there won't be any negative charge. So, if a medial is attached here or this position, it will prevent the shifting of this oxygen-hydrogen bond towards oxygen. That means, preventing the shifting means 
preventing the breakage of OH bond or it will make the availability of H plus less. We won't get H plus from this position because if H plus is removed, negative charge will come here. It will be resonating, it will, it will be withdrawn by this of this benzene ring. But medial group positions at ortho and para positions will prevent the benzene ring from taking this electron density or withdrawing this electron density. It means if methyl is here or methoxy is here, you won't get this oxygen hydrogen bond cleaved. That means H plus availability is less. So electron donating groups at ortho para positions, ortho para positions will prevent, means become reduced. Astic nature of phenol become reduced in this situation. Okay. Now we can consider some reactions of phenol. Usually phenol is given in labs and we can easily identify the common by a simple test in which phenol is treated with This compound is called thalic acid and if you are treating, if you are heating that one, it will become unhydrated, thalic unhydrated. So, we can consider thalic unhydrated. This is actually thalic unhydrated and if you are treating thalic unhydrated with phenol in our lab, this is actually phenol. Hydrogen, another phenol, hydrogen, OH, phenol. What will happen if you are treating thalic unhydrated and phenol? One is to two proportion of thalic unhydrated and phenol in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. If you are heating that one, Concentrated sulfuric acid is dehydrating, so water molecule will be eliminated from this position or H2O will be eliminated. So these two benzene rings will be directly attached. Directly attached now. So this compound is called phenophthalene. It is called phenophthalene. It is usually used as a used as indicator in acid base titrations because in acidic medium it is colorless and in basic medium acidic basic phenolphthalein become colorless in acidic medium and in basic medium it is slightly like pinkish color pinkish appearance so but very easily we can detect the color change in acid based titrations and phenolphthalein become colored in basic medium so this is actually the structure of phenolphthalein and how it is how it will become colored in basic medium so we know that from the structure of phenol, we know that except this sp3 hybridized carbon, all other carbons are sp2 hybridized. sp2 hybridized carbon means one of the p orbital. Usually we can have sp3 or sp2 plus 1p. Okay, so it is sp2 hybridized. Other carbons are sp2 hybridized. So one p orbital unhybridized. With the help of unhybridized p orbital, parallel unhybridized p orbitals means the lateral overlapping and pi bonded situations. So, 
here in this molecule if you are considering pi bonded pi conjugation double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond this situation is conjugated double bond here also conjugated double bond here also double conjugated double bond but once p became p also involved the remaining p also involved in hybridization then become sp3 hybridized so it is sp3 hybridized because of the sp3 hybridization of this carbon what happened the conjugation is absent in this position or oh, it is blocked here only because of the sp3 hybridization of carb that carbon if you are converting this carbon also to sp2 hybridized if we are converting this sp3 to sp2 what will happen then we can see the structure what will happen Converting that one, or you can convert that one. That is very simple process. If you are introducing sodium hydroxide, or if we are making the solution basic, if we are making the solution basic, what will happen? This is the structure. Proton is taken by because the, this is a cleaving system. Proton is taken by the base. Okay, we can consider that one. Proton is taken by base. So what will happen? This will form resonating possibilities. So it will be resonated. So you think here. So I will draw the result in here. So this bond is broken. Negative become negative. So position of double bond is shifted. So it is actually a double bond here. <laughs> double bond here. Double bond here. So what is hybridization here? This sp2 hybridized now. Okay. Sp3 to sp2 hybridized shift is happening because of this. This basic this proton is extracted, so that shift resonation resonance and resultant properties, this conversion. So what is ha happened? Now double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. That means conjugation is extended. If conjugation is extending, means that molecules will be having the capacity, electronic excitation of that will be shifted to visible region. If electronic excitation and de excitation shifted to visible region means colloid, compound will become colloid. It will absorb image in the visible region. So become colloid. So if there is no conjugation, this still will be higher energy situation. So this shift will be in, in UV or any higher regions. So it is not visible for us. But now it is shifted to longer wavelength. This we can say a red shift. It is shifted to longer wavelength. What the, the net result is, we will observe color for this one. This is colorless and this colored. Colorless in acidic medium and colored in basic medium. Okay, so we can explain the color of this one either by this conjugated system or we can have another possibility is the Q nanoid ring system. This is actually benzenoid and this is actually Q nanoid. In Q nanoid form, usually extended conjugation will be there and extended conjugation means the excitation energy will be reduced so it become visible or it will become colored in visible region okay so this is a very interesting test to identify phenol in love if you are mixing phenol with thalic anhydride and just heating with sulfuric acid we will get thalic phenolphthalein and to that solution if you are increasing some more NaOH 
that you do neutralize HTL sulfur and to make the solution basic. So some more NaOH is required. So if you are adding NaOH to the solution and you're making it basic means it will become that solution will become pinkish appearance and that is an a characteristic color test for phenol. Thank you.